But I'm happy with, with the fact that I have a voice and people are literally listening to me, yeah. reacting to me, taking taking to me. I'm, that's dope. Give me a different, give me a different glow. Shit, I'm with, look at my shorts. What the, what the hell? Who wears shorts like this? Me, 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 me. Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? I stick to YouTube, it's like TV. What y'all think about my, my dad clothes? On purpose, though. I, see, I don't have to do this. I'm doing it on purpose, because I, I like it. And you know what? I'm tired of doing what everyone's doing. So, I'm going to make the unpopular popular. Shout out to my cousin DJ. Yes, I, I don't have my... Look, there's nobody around me. There's no one around me. I don't need that much. I, we still need six feet. I don't need 100 feet to be next to somebody. But with that said, in a weird way, it feels good to be back in the subway. Can you hear me? <laughs> New York is like a girlfriend. Like, like you miss this, this aspects of New York you might miss might not miss it, but you miss aspects of it. That was one. Yeah. Woo! Damn. Six feet, six feet. Give me six feet in the subway, man. God. Don't give me two feet. Don't give me three feet, don't give me four, don't give me five, give me six. Six feet. See, as tall as I am, that's how much space you should give me. Show me that coffee. Leaving it in the air. The note with, yo. She's coughing, she got the mask like this. She got the mask like this. <coughs> coughing. Uh, we made it. We made it. Woo, Canal Street. Hmm, what is there to do? Now, down this block, I shot my, sh sh was it my first short film on this block? But look how much graffiti. Yikes. Michael Marcel. Shout out to Michael Marcel. Do you remember this right here, Mike? I'm gonna put a link to the, uh, the short film I did. Or was it, was it this? I think it was this. We shot right here. And then I came over here and shot him walking down the block, right there. And this block still looks crazy. Even more graffiti, actually. I wonder why, why do they always close these? These like an old door. Yo, what you filming? Music video? Up and coming artist? Dope, dope, dope. What's your YouTube? Captain. Captain? We got you. Hey, you gotta show love, baby. That was just pretty. He just uh, hit me. He said he late. That's the thing with black people, man. They always damn late. God, yo, man. Story time. Me and Pretty go back maybe 10 plus years. And um, he's punctual. But what tends to happen is when you deal with black people, okay, time is not of the essence. And that's in our blood. That's in our blood. We should embrace it. God damn, let's throw away the clock. Every all black people, we should just eradicate the clock. No more clocks. No more. No, we don't need time. We move on our own schedule, like how we like to say we do, on our own time. We should just get rid of the clock. I lived in Manhattan one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen years ago. Would you believe I can't nothing has changed down this on these like people go people like my wife, they're scared to leave New York because they're probably 
feel they'll lose something. Well, in fact, you're not losing anything if you leave New York. In fact, everyone that leaves New York that I know has lost nothing, has gained everything. And look, this city has not changed. The city will not change. Everyone from New York needs to leave New York, man. You're not losing anything. Can I say that one more time? Say it with me. You're not losing anything if you leave with New York. You're making the world richer. God damn. That's a whack existence to me, man. I've traveled, I've traveled, I went here, I went there, and I come back, it's still the same. I ain't miss a damn thing. Only thing that happened is people get older, they die, and new babies get born to repeat the same cycle over again. A block like this is normally overpopulated. These days of corona, a block like this is severely underpopulated. Normally around this time, these restaurants are popping. Damn, these are the effects of corona. Look at this. This right now will be jam-packed with people. Not just New Yorkers, the majority of the people from out of town. This place is famous for their uh, ice cream. And I guess it's still popping. I have to try this. This is much bigger than I expected it to be. Things that I think about during the daytime. Let's go through it. I know I'm blessed to be in a city where everybody probably wants to be, whether they admit it or not. Whether they admit it or not, they want to be in New York, right? So I'm fortunate enough to be from here, born and raised. Another thing I think about, people that are born and raised here aren't necessarily wealthy. Another thing I think about, people born and raised here want to be wealthy. Wealth is shoved in your face in New York, especially in California, but in New York, daily. You can't avoid it. I'm realizing in order to upgrade my life, I have to upgrade the people around me. Something else I think about. When you start to upgrade the people around you, the same people that used to hang out with you get mad at you. Sometimes you get entangled with people who it's hard to untangle yourself with. And because of that, it makes it, it makes for some really hard decision making. You have to have a lot of foresight to know what's best for the well-being of your family. And sometimes decisions are hard to make. All this to say, I have to do what's right for me and you have to do what's right for you. These are things to think about. I made it to Mason Margella. Am I gonna get one of these? Am I gonna get one of these? Huh? Ooh, red? Funky, but no. Black? Uh, nobody would know what that is. Wheezy? Ooh, a little too bland. Man, what should I do? What should I do? These are women. But let's see, I always wanted a pair of these. I always wanted a pair of Mar motherfucking Jellas. That's me. That's me. That's me. Guess who that is? It's me. Sexy. I'm about to try these out. Story time with Cocky Quizla. Story time. I enjoy the man I am today. And nothing's perfect, but it works. It works. And um, no complaints. No, nobody complains about me except my wife. But, and I don't complain about anybody. There's nothing to complain about. Everything is perfect. The world is perfect. It's easy to say the world is not perfect. And I wish this and that were better. But if you take a step back, what would be your life if everything wasn't the way it was? If you had nothing to strive for, if everything was handed to you, what is your life? Your life is boring. It ain't worth a damn. And uh, granted, this is what we know and this is how we operate. So you should embrace it. You should embrace the fact that people are pushing for change and you should embrace the fact that people are pushing back for change because it's self-preservation. You mad at that? You mad at, you mad at somebody doing the same thing you're doing? It's self-preservation? That's the way of life. Animals in the animal kingdom are like that and we're no different. But I'm happy 
with, with the fact that I have a voice and people are literally listening to me, reacting to me, taking taking to me. I'm, that's dope. Give me a different, give me a different glow. Shit, I'm with, look at my shorts. What the, what the hell? Who wears shorts like this? Me, 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 me. I stick to YouTube, it's like TV.